Okay, so we are now at your muscular system. Muscular system or your muscles, ha? this is um, the, the part of the human body that provides for movement of the body and its parts. Okay. And it is also, this also maintains posture. This posture, ha? not posture. Posture. Oh, you correct it? Sa libro, muscular system. Oh, posture. Generates heat and stabilizes your joints. So, this, this is your posture, ha? Huh? So, we have the different parts of the body. If you wanted, so, you, you may, you may try to look at it in Google, ha? Huh? Para makakusakto mo sa spelling. So, we have there, oh. So, before we're going to identify the muscles, uh, all you need to do is to memorize, ma memorize the the bigger muscles do not try to identify the, the small ones we have type of muscles we have straighted striated that's straighted striated muscles this one this is the one responsible for controlling the I know it is also known as your skeletal muscles or your stri stri striated muscles. So, this is the one that controls your voluntary movements. And of course, it is also monitored and controlled by your nervous system in the spinal and the cranial nerves. Okay, that is your skeletal muscles or your striated muscles number two is your smooth muscles we have controlled by the automa automatic that is not automatic oh did it automatic this is your autonomic nervous system in the spinal and some cranial nerves so you check it na lang the spelling of automatic it is not automatic it is autonomic autonomics auto is self nomic kasi you have your ans we have your autonomic nervous system is the one responsible for your vital organs but your peripheral pns or peripheral nervous system it is the one responsible with your extremities so, and you so, diba? Your autonomic, tanawa, found in the internal body organs such as your urinary. So, I sakto ko no. So, vital organs. Digestive and reproductive system. Uh, reproduction system. That's your reproductive system. Cardiac muscles. We have still not muscles the same with your smooth muscles but it is a specific specified muscles for the heart on singalan cardiac muscles so types of body movements so aside from that uh, muscles ha, identify i we're going to have your body movements one is flexion decrease in angle between two parts so flexion and then extension increase in angle between two parts Proximal part closer to the trunk, distal part farther than the trunk. Well, abduction, we have bringing a part away from the midline. So, the midline is the center. Remember, in our uh, types of plane, then we have adduction, bringing a part near the midline or to the midline. Inversion, bringing the sole of the foot inwards while your eversion, that is now your bringing the sole of the foot outward. We have flat supine, that is your flat lying in the back. Prone, lying on face down, lying on the abdomen. Plantar flexion, moving the ankle with the toes pointing upward. While internal rotation, rotation, rotating the bony segment inwards. External rotation, bony segment outward okay so we have here all the picture abduction adduction and all so napay o banani wala hindi mention just like also your um pronation supination then we also have your medial rotation lateral rotation and we have also your circumduction and all others napay uban so now we're going to identify at least some of the muscles so, based on the picture, so we're going to have here in the left side, the one facing. Okay, we have your 
masseter muscle so the 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 muscle in your face that is your masseter here oh i'm going to have this bigger ha huh? this one and then we have also your orbiculence orbiculence is the muscle above your eyes and tem temporalis muscle in your above your ears masseter in your face and we have your deltoid muscle the one that will be used as you know, in injection diba? in our basic infection control and we also have your Ayun na ng steno, stenocleidomastoid. Stenocleidomastoid. Muna siyang muscle when you're going to move your... Uh, look at when you're facing forward and then you're going to move out to... Tawag, and slightly move your head sideward. So, maklaro siya. That is your stenocleidomastoid muscle. And that is in the center. Almost in the center. Oh, from the side, ha? And then we have there your... The area there connecting connecting to the deltoid that is your trapezius. And we have also your... Yung mga dako na lang, ayun na naman. For example, your biceps. Oh, di ba? Biceps brachii. Biceps kasi dalawa sila, bi. Triceps brachii kasi tatlo po sila. Oh, yung biceps, mas malaki siya sa triceps. The one that, kanap itong kung mga masul, masulman ka na mga dagko, nag-gym ba? Di ba? Maklaro sila. Klaro ilang mga biceps. And we have also your... Ayan na nang magagma dyan ang... Uh, bra, uh, bra, break you ka from the word brachial uh, bra, break you clara dialis ayaw na na siya next we have your rectus abdominis here at the center external oblique diba sa external kaning mga maghimo siya packet packet tau, six packets so one two two four six six packets that is your um, rectus abdominis diba while your external oblique at the side of the x6 pocket and we have sartorius here kanang taas kay nga bone nga gastrit gikan sa imo ang hip padulong sa ubos that is sartorius ayo na lang na memorize sa kay malibog na ka Special and also your gracilis. The one that you cannot identify or cannot locate, do not try to memorize it. Gracilis also. And we have rectus femoris. From the word femur, ang imong bone, ang iyang, iyang muscle. We have the bigger muscle. We have rectus femoris. And we have also vastus medialis. Oh, below your rectus femoris, ha? The, the muscle that is connected, almost connected and we also have gastrocnemius makita siya sa side but definitely um, klaro siya sa likod and then we have tibialis and anterior so front tibialis from the word tibia ang imong bone dira the, the, the long bone in that particular particular area is your tibia so ang iyang muscle tibialis anterior kay front man siya and your soleus that's it. Now, we we'll proceed with your back. So, the back na ta. So, kung nantaw na mo sa back, solius na siya sa kilid gihapon, gastrocnemius, duha ka buka ng muburot bitaw sa imo ang leg. That is your gastrocnemius. Semimembranosus. Oh, dira. Makita po ni mo siya. And then, then we have biceps from um, biceps femoris also. Biceps is a femoral area, but it's a femoris. Triceps brachii, external oblique, gluteus maximus. Gluteus maximus is your lubot nga dako. Kung gamay, gamay lagi hapon. Pero maximus gihapon ang alan ana. Bisa gamay kag lubot. Next is glotus medialis. Just above your glotus maximus, you have a little um, muscle there. Term as your um, glotus medialis. Butum na ko ay. And what else? Deltoid. Trapezius, 
masseter, temporalis. So, those are the muscles that you need to memorize. Uh, diba? Okay, so I have here the different uh, movement which you are going to perform as your 50% in your grade. So, tomorrow after our quiz, you're going to practice this one and also study as well so that we could have a quiz on Friday. Napod. Okay. So, hinahinayan na to before we're going to proceed with your dis disabled care. Okay, we are now at your nervous system. So the nervous system maintains body homeostasis and electrical signals. And we have also providing for sensation, higher mental functioning, and emotional response. And also, it activates muscles and glands. So, that is a very broad definition. So, we're going to um, sum it up as sensory input, integration, and motor output. So, the function of your nervous system, again, is sensory input, integration, and your motor output. When you say sensory input... Um, you have here the word electrical signals, right? So when you say sensory input using your senses, you're going to um get out again. It will give electrical signals for you to detect the 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 um either the scenario or the item or for example for you to see kung makita nimo for you to hear kung madungog nimo for you to feel kung ma-touch nimo or for you to smell so from the word sensory you're going to use senses your senses in detecting the stimulus next using your senses you will your nervous system will now integrate or you have to decide as to what you what should be done because uh, of that particular stimulus so if exactly you're going to decide and then after that integration that is the time now your i uh, which uh, which uh, which you're going to use your muscles and even your glands or make a function a response either using your emotion or your mental functioning so again sensory input integration and motor output so i'm going to give you an example so um as you are if, if you're sitting on the table and then you felt something is is crawling on your back so nine crawl sa mong back so based on your senses you feel that it is more of an spider more of a spider you would you would think that it is a spider who crawls your back at your back i mean and then after that you're going to decide what will you do we're going to allow the spider to crawl on your back or just um just allow the spider to reach your shoulder or are you going to get the spider yourself diba so you're going to remove you're going to integrate or you're going to de to decide on things or as to what to do with the spider and then next is now your motor output if you decide to just let the spider crawl and reach your shoulder then you were going to wait until the spider reaches your shoulder but if you're going to decide using your motor output if you're going to get the spider or so remove your the spider from your back so you are going to remove now the spider from your back and moral nag nag oh spider lagi diba so that is the sensory integration and motor output so for example in the dark ngit 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 ka nga galakaw sa dalan. Pag lakaw na mo sa dalan, nakastep ka something soft. Nga init-init pa siya. So, pagkastep ni mo sa something soft o init-init, based on your senses,
of guy, binatay. Kajot lang! Ah, Nag-record ko. Dahil yun, pagka, pagka step ni mo, ang imo na feel is, um, mura siya glapok, nga tubigon. So that is now your, what we called as your sensory input. Because you are feeling the texture and then the consistency of that particular thing that you step on then next is integration based on your sensory input you are going to decide what you have what you will do on that particular um thing that you step on are you going to pick it up and feel it or are you going to step it more or are you going to lift your feet that is sure integration and then when, when you arrive to the um, decision that is now and then perform it immediately that is now your motor output so on sa may mong button are you going to step it more and then are you going to re, uh, remove your feet or are you going to sit down and try to pick it up or feel kung unsa jud to siya? And then in the, at the end of the day, you're going to say, Ay, ta ilagi jud. That is now your nervous system. Okay. We have the parts of the nervous system. <coughs> is your... Parts or other, other, other terms is your classification. It is classified as to central nervous system or the CNS. Or we have also the peripheral nervous system or your PNS. Okay, PNS. So when you say central nervous system, it consists of the brain and the spinal cord which, uh, which occupies the dorsal cavity and act as the integrating and command center of the nervous system. They interpret incoming sensory information, issue instruction based on past experience and current condition. So your CNS is the one that decide or the one that we're going to um, determine as to what you're going to do. So, it is responsible for the sensory plus integration. Or your CNS is your, is your control center. So, control center siya. And your integration is based on issues of in, uh, issue, instructions based on past experiences and current conditions. So, it is a matter of weighing things out. So, for example, pag tunog ni mo at tong imong natumban, nga wakakabalo kay ngit-ngit, imo siyang gi-analyze kung unsa jud ni. So, giduot jud ni mag imong tiil. Dahil yung natingala ka kay Humok banggit kay siya. So, moto nga, plus init-init pa yun. So, moto nga, ninglingkod ka. O, imonggi, tuslok. Pag tuslok ni mo, <laughs> simutan ni. <laughs> Napil ni mo, nga mura jutsag tayo. <laughs> Dahil Imo pag yung gibutang sa imong ilong. Di ba? Tanga na kaana. Gabi na imong, imong brain do. Gagay ka ka Di ba? So, that is now your, in, your CNS. The next is your PNS. Asa na itong PNS, ani? Okay. So, PNS at ta. Unya na ta magkon sa mga parts. So, the PNS. The peripheral nervous system is the part of the nervous system outside the CNS. So, 
It consists mainly of the nerves and extends from the brain and the spinal cord. Spinal nerves carry impulses to and from the spinal cord. The cranial nerves carry impulses to and from the brain. Pag spinal nerve gali, carry enforce impulses to and from the spinal cord, di ba? Pero ang cranial nerves mo tiga carry sa mga impulses to and from the this nerve serves as the communication line. Okay. Your PNS actually are all nerves. Or PNS is peripheral nervous system. So what do you mean by peripheral? It is now your um, the connection of the nerves. Or, or it connects now the brain to the periphery. Where is the periphery? Sa up to sa layo nga part sa imong body. So, this is the way of the CNS to communicate the rest part of the body. So, let's say from the CNS. Gikan ka sa CNS. Unsa to CNS? Central nervous system. It is responsible for the brain and the spinal cord. Your brain now is connected to the PNS for communication. Diba? For communication. What do you mean by PNS? Peripheral nervous system. So, in your PNS, it is divided into two. We have the sensory and your motor. Or sensory is just listen, just using your senses. Diba? It picks up the sensory st stimuli. It, sens it senses then the the you sense something you sense something i mean and then the brain will going to detect it because um as as your sensory is under your peripheral nervous system ang pag sense nimo sa tae ang brain mo mo analyze kung unsa jud ni di ba ang brain po mo decide kung unsa oy unsa ibuhaton di ba then after that of course, once you sense it, another division of your PNS is your motor. So, motor, we're in the brain now, we're going to instruct the muscles and the glands. Or the brain, we're going to instruct the muscles to the glands and the glands as to what you're going to do. Diba? Your sensory is the regarded as the afferent because it is just um, responsible to sense something while your motor it is regarded as your efferent so a afferent is a f f e r e n t while your efferent is e f f e r e n t so in your motor it is now then divided an action into two the somatic um somatic form of your pn of your motor under your pns and then the ans or your autonomic nervous system when you say somatic form it is responsible for the skeleton or your skeletal system and your muscles so of basically this is your voluntary nervous system. Kay, pag ingon ni brain nga, lingkod, i-feel ang tae, uh, ang imong natumban. So, pag i-feel na ni mo, then, of course, in, when you're going to sit down, you are going to use your skeleton and muscles. It is responsible for movement. Again, your somatic is responsible for movement. Ha, ah, movement siya. And then we have also your ANS is involuntary. Involuntary in the sir in the in the sense that you cannot control it. Just like for example, the heartbeat, the respiration, and the sounds of your stomach. If you're hungry, diba? You cannot control it. That is your autonomic nervous system. So it is involuntary.
involuntary. Dili siya somatic. Then, your involuntary or ANS is further divided into sympathetic and parasympathetic. So, when you say sympathetic, this is now your... Ano siya? Diretso, you're going to give a action, your immediate action. While your parasympathetic, there was... You're going to breathe, relax, and then perform the action. So that is now how complicated is your nervous system. Oh, di ba? Again, from the nervous system, it is divided. It functions for your sensory input, integration, and then motor output. So, your nervous system is divided into two. We have the central nervous system where it contains your brain and the spinal cord. Or it is considered as the command center or the control center. While we have also the PNS or the peripheral nervous system. It is responsible to, for communication. Okay. It, um, as means of communication so that you could your brain the command of the brain will be will be carried out to the periphery or to the other parts of the body or even your organs and your pns is divided into two we have your sensory and your motor sensory your afferent and your motor we have your efferent so when you say sensory, so the five senses, oh, sense of touch, sense of taste, sense of smell, sense of hearing, sense of touch. Mm -hmm. These senses will be in their, in, in, interpreted by the brain because it will going to send its signal immediately to the brain while your motor it is now your brain and muscles plus your glands this is now your uh how the brain will going to command you as an individual as to what to do next so i is your your motor or efferent is divided into two so this is your somatic form and your ans or your autonomic nervous system when you say somatic form derecho na siya this it uses the skeletal muscle skeletal system and the muscular system so for example pagkatunob demo sa tai ning lingkod ka so that is you're using your skeletal system and muscular system and next is your ans this is your involuntary it is it caters your um sympathetic and parasympathetic action so example ans pagkalingkod nimo at paglingkod nimo nakulbaan ka unsa man jud kani ako natumban that is your heart increase in heartbeat or respiratory rate and even giluod ka so that is your involon Tari. So, it's either sympathetic or parasympathetic. So, if sympathetic, giluod ka. Ning ditsu ka og sik. O sik ma. Ning ditsu ka og digwa. Kay giluod ka sa tae. That is your sympathetic. Parasympathetic nervous system. Ingon ka nga. Tae rin eh. Tae rin eh. Tae rin eh. So, Ning relax ka, wala ka nag panic. Pero ang sympathetic, ing siya gata ka, ah, tae! So that is your sympathetic and then parasympathetic comparison. Okay. Do you have any question? Uy, mga inday. Do you have questions? Wala. Okay. So, um, we were going to stop Sadiri, then we were going to continue later. Okay, so we're going to continue our our nervous system. Um now Julia na kuga my some classic I I have to catch up with the human anatomy. So I have here your uh, continuation ha. Huh? So we got we have discussed now the different um what do you call this one? The di divisions of the uh, parts of the nervous system uh 
we have the CNS, the PNS, and its branches. We have um, PNS, the branch of the CN PNS. We have your sensory, the motor, and then it it branches again. When you say motor, um, efferent, sense your sensory, it is the efferent. So it was discussed in the book. And then we also have your your motor branches again to somatic and autonomic autonomic nervous system the one that you cannot control and the one that you can control so if it if, if you can control so that is your muscles and your skeleton and if you cannot control that is your cardiovascular respiratory and digestive system and it is further divided into sympathetic and not parasympathetic sympathetic um that is now your uh what do you call this one fired up action while you're parasympathetic so that is nervous nervous application so now or relaxation and all now we're going to proceed with your so wala na diri Ako lang lang siyang gibutangan gamay so that you could understand just a little bit. So, I have here a picture in ex exercise 8. So, there, this is an example of your neuron. So, your nervous system or your brain has this. This is a neuron. Neuron siya nga, tawag ha. Neurons is the very much vital part in our brain. Because it is the one that gives us ideas. It is, is the one that makes us respond to a stimulus. And even it consumes your neurons, consume, I think, 25% of your food intake. That is why if you will say so that, Mom, I'm hungry. My neurons are hungry. So that is also um, the explanation because of course your brain is a voracious eater huge eater po siya uh, by its evident by its neuron ito po yung example ng neuron so neuron so anyways ang neuron po dito is yung gitna gitna po ng yung green yan po yung neuro, neurons pero may mga transmitter po siya, transmitter na tinatawag. So, we have here um, a, neuro, a neuron tissue to cell and the neurons to or nerve cell which respond to stimuli and transmit signals. So, they are used to transmit signals. Just a for example, if you study because you have an exam, your brain will going to record those information that your senses have seen, have have seen, have heard. Kaya nga, for example, mas magandang mag-study na naka, naka, ano, oral, di ba? Yung bang, or nag-study ka not with your eyes alone, but also with your mouth. Because, eh, tatlong senses yung ginagamit mo your speaking your your hearing and your sense of sight pwede pa rin um wala lang si sense of ano uh, smell doon pero depende kung mag-imagine ka di ba so mas much better kung gamitin mo yun kasi mas ma-retain siya ng brain remember the sensory oh, sensory parts of your brain the efferent that is why you have to thanks for your neurons for letting you answer the exam. Because the neuron will be the one to transmit signals and give you your answer. So, saan po niya ita transmit? So, from your brain down to your, of course, down to your um, kamot or to your hand to write the correct answer. But before that, we're going to discuss first this picture so as what i've said this is the green one is the neuron and then we have also parts of the neuron we have also your it has axon and the dendrite the axon is i think di, di kay ko nakalimot na ko ba 
the axon is the talker while your dendrite is the listener I don't know ha kung basa yung baliktad basta marag maroon ako na remember the axon is the talker and the dendrite is the listener ay na lang siya ay memorize ng mga parts kay marag, marag kalimot na po kaling uban so axon is the talker and your dendrite is the listener ay na lang i-memorize I have a headache then I have also a I diagnosed myself having UTI. So, manang medyo gakurug kurug ko. So, anyways, these are very important part of your brain because they are the ones that will give you information. Your neurons is a tissue. Tissue is composed of cells, ha? That is considered as a as a, what we call this one, largest lived cells in the body. So and it and largest lives largest live lived or lived cells in the body sha. And then neurons is also irreplaceable one once it that it dies, it dies na jod. Because they are considered as omitotic. So meaning once in a lifetime na po sila na exist. So bigyan siya ng buhay ngayon, pagkamatay wala na po, hindi na po siya ma-replace. And of course, as what I've said, it is a huge eater. Uh, 25% of the food or caloric intake is consumed by your brain. So we have as um, the parts of your um, this one. So my dumdum na ako. We have your um, neuron. Then the green part, malidesha. That is the new. That not. The green part, this picture, entire picture is the neuron. That is why I'm confused. This entire picture is the neuron. While the center, I think this is the cell body. The cell body siya. Yung green ha. And then we also have cunning tail with the yellow one. That is your axon as we have regarded as talker. While your dendrite... Ang dendrite is kaning mga kaning gaway-gaway. This one. Kaning violet dili sa end sa yellow. O kaning mga o kaning mga kuan. Ano? Kaning mga violet dili sa end sa yellow. Dili kaning violet gikan sa green sa tunga. That is your dendrite. This is the listener. So, talker ang ak-ak axon may muhatag o signal and then for the dendrite to dendrite to kuan ka nang sa tag ni to perform and then we also have the junction between one neuron to another we have your synapse this one kaning violet at the end of the yellow mali ha so kani kani siya ay um basta dendrite then writing violet there pero kaning violet isa this is your s y n a p s e ang synapse functions as your as your what you call meeting point between two neurons uh, meeting point o di ba pagkatapos ito kay uh, de, parang connected siya sa dendrite. So, meron na naman again, is, again na isang ganito. Isang hole na ganito. Meaning, isang isang hole na neuron. So, <clears throat> axon transmit electrical impulses away from the cell body to other cells. Nerve cells aren't identical. So, dili siya pareho o forma. So, meaning, na ay mga neurons nga um, Multiple ang iyang connection na apoy dubli lang. So, we have here 99% of neurons are wa are multipolar neurons. So, lahi ang abang neurons na ay single na apoy multipolar. Pero gamay rang single, usually multi multipolar. What do you mean by multipolar? Kapantay mo ang isa diri ganyang mga gaway-gaway, your synapse. Ang synapse na anapoy mo, na anapoy porma ani kaning nai violet kaning ka violet og nai green sa tunga. Wala na lang siya gi drawing diri kay kung i-drawing pa siya mataas na. So, mo nang 
multipolar siya kay daghan siyag neurons. So, we have two neurons junction, pwede po siya junction or nag-class ang duha ka neurons. Pero kasagara yun is I class by with your synapse meaning gi connect sila with the synapse. I'm going to be, give you a picture ha pagkahuman ani. So, new a tiny uh, your ang tiny communication between neurons ang tawag ni mo ang synapse. Tiny communication between neurons. Then uh, this is this is also the the reason why you and later on when you're going to forget something later on you could then you tend to remember it because of the connection your brain will going to connect everything and you will arrive to that information that you like to remember or oh, that is your um synapse anyway your cns is integrating sensory information and then of course your cns is responsible for your thinking feeling and remembering Okay, so definitely it concerns with your brain. We will not tackle more on the brain because, uh, more on that. Basta nakabala mo sa kwan. Anyway, you will have that in your elderly module. Okay, next is your, so next, endocrine system. So, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to give you now the, 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 what do you call this one? The video for your endocrine. But I included some of the diseases there needed for elderly. You just try to ignore the elderly diseases, ha? Kay, dili na ko maghimogbag o nga video because I'm not feeling well. I'm just trying to um do the nervous completely so that you could have... You could do answer my question on our exam.